Okay. Okay. Hello. Welcome back. What do we have here? Ah. The journey continues. Right. Electronic classical music. Link it to the world. Link it to yourself. Stretch it like a bus That's an odd reference. A bleak image. Whoa! Holy shit! That's a crunchy guitar right there. Drum sound excellent. Face plan right there. How much are you worth? You can't come down to earth. You're swelling up, you're unstoppable. Cause you're seen, seen, seen much. Sounds amazing. Excellent drumming. Serious singing, too. Distinctly Muse. I don't think anyone else sounds like this.
Ultra Rocket. Nice, nice guitar. Ooh. That almost sounds like backwards tape or something. That was killer. That's amazing. What? It's from 2001 originally? Originally 2001, and then they came out with a 20th anniversary remix uh, album. So that is the version you listen to. Sounds excellent. Uh, let me head over to Muse Wiki and see what they have to say. So recorded in 2001, first performance, first performance 2000, last live performance, a somewhat shortened version in 2019. All right, so they're keeping it alive. This one charted to number 12. I don't know what chart that was. Probably maybe maybe Bill, Billboard. I don't know. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I like how they... Uh, I like how he does this, the first verse again at the end. Revamps it with the, uh, the rocking part underneath it. Crazy lyrics. Definitely dystopian science fiction style. Hmm, the Matrix. What is it? Along the same line. Song is along the same lines as the film The Matrix. Yeah. Definitely happening. Very rocking. Very good. Whoa. The tempo goes from 147 to 153. Increases. That's, that's unique for songs these days. And again, that was 23 years ago. The fourth most played Muse song live. Really? According to Muse Wiki. Well, they would know. All right. Well, that's cool. That's very cool. Great drums on that song. Great recording. Sounds excellent. You know, their, their studio versions sound just about as rocking as their live versions, I would say. Not all bands are like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A lot of the times the studio versions are more reserved or more processed or almost almost too too contained or overthought these ones retain the feel of a live band all right well that's excellent very nice thank you very much